Now new to Word 2010 is the ability to customize the ribbon here, which you couldn't do in the previous version of Word, or Office for that matter. So to customize the ribbon, just go ahead and find an area anywhere and just right click, and there it is, customize the ribbon, select it, it opens up a window, the same window it looks like when it comes to customizing the quick access toolbar. In fact, you can see it over here, quick access, ribbon. So for the ribbon, you got a list of the commands, or the more popular commands. If you want to see all the commands, click on the drop down arrow and say you want to see all. And it's alphabetical, starts with the numbers, then it goes from the A's, B's, and C's. Then over to the right hand side, it has all these check boxes, and those that are checked are all the tabs that are currently being displayed on the ribbon, like the Home tab, Insert, Page Layout, and so on. The only one that's not displayed by default is the Developer tab. Go ahead and check it. And if you don't want to see a bunch of other tabs, then just go ahead and uncheck those, even the Home tab, which is horrifying because I like the Home tab. Click OK and, ah, it's gone. What do I do? Well, there's the View tab. There's the Developer tab. It has the code group, add-ins, and so on. So if you made a mistake, go ahead and right-click anywhere and go to Customize. And then, of course, let's check those tabs to reveal them again. Now, when it comes to customizing the defaults, these default tabs, and you can see the plus signs. You can expand the group to see the commands tied to that group. You can't select them and remove them. Access doesn't allow you to uh, mess with the defaults. You can only either display them or hide the tab and the codes that are displayed on that tab. Now if you want to go ahead and create your own tab, then come down here and click on New Tab. And when I click on it, let me scroll down, it's right there. I can go ahead and select the tab. And instead of having that generic New Tab, let's go ahead and rename it and call it Spiffy Tab. And then go ahead and click OK. And then for the Spiffy tab, I've got a default group. I can add more groups. You know, I can have two groups, three, four, five, or six. And for the first group, let's rename it and call it. So for the display name, it's Spiff1. Now these symbols for the groups, I'm going to go ahead and choose a happy face for this one. And then we'll select that one, rename it, call it Spiff2. And let's choose the uh, painter's palette and click OK. These symbols here, they won't be displayed until you actually add the group to the quick access toolbar. Remember how in the previous training video we were customizing the quick access toolbar and we were right clicking and adding groups to it and it chose the icon that best represented the group? Well that's all these are here, is you're choosing an icon that if you add it to the quick access toolbar that's the one that's going to represent that group. You don't have to select a symbol and if you don't it's going to have a green globe as the default symbol that represents it if you add that group to the quick access toolbar. So I click OK and there we go. In fact let's add one more. Let's add another group and we'll leave it as that just so I can show you that if I don't rename it and I don't select a symbol for it, it'll have a green orb when I add it to the quick access toolbar. So we have the spiffy tab, we have a couple of groups. Now within those groups, do we want some commands like here we got a find command. So I can go ahead and select it and click add and notice that whatever I had selected over here, it adds it to that group. So if I didn't want it there, select it and I can go ahead and select remove and let's select spiff1 first group. Select it, click Add, adds it to that group. Okay, font, we can do Format Painter, and let's select the second group, click Add, and then New Group, we'll add Macros, click Add. So I'm just adding what I think will be helpful for me. And you can add as many commands to these uh, groups as you'd like. Let's do Font Color Add, in any case, you get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and there we go, there's my Spiffy tab. And, well, it's stretching the icons, and so this one doesn't look good. In any case, I got the commands. I, I can click on the drop down arrow, choose a color for my font, either black is the default or green or some other color. Choose the font, drop down arrow. So when I right click the group and I want to add it to the quick access toolbar, remember the happy face symbol that we chose for this group? And I right click this one and add it to the quick access toolbar. It's so the paintbrush, right click, add it. And by default, if you don't have an icon selected for your group, when you add it to the quick access toolbar, it's going to be a green orb. So when I'm finished and I want to remove these, I'll right click and right click and left click on remove them and I'm done with this. I can go ahead and right click and let's customize the ribbon again and I can either go ahead and uncheck that if I'm not going to be using that tab for a while but I want it there in case if I want to use it later that way it hides it and that's fine or if you want to get rid of it all together you know go ahead and select it and just click on remove and it removes the tab and the corresponding groups. They're gone. Can't bring them back. Okay. Now if you've done a bunch of customizations, for example, I've got the tab here, and like I said, you can't mess with the original groups or the uh, commands within the group, but you can certainly add additional groups to the developer here. So if I select developer and I click on new group, there you go, you got a new group, and you can customize that. So in any case, if you make a mess and you add all these new groups to all these tabs, and you got 
you know, your tab, custom tab down here, and you're like, okay, I don't want to go through all these tabs and reset it back to zero. Just come down here and click on reset and either reset all the customizations so it zeroes out everything. You're back to where you started when you first opened up Word. Or if it's like the developer, you just want to reset one tab, then select it, come down here and click on reset and say you only want to reset back to the way it was, the defaults, for that uh, selected tab. So let's go ahead and reset all customizations and click yes. And what it did is it unchecked developer because by default, Microsoft Word, when you open up the program for the first time, didn't have the developer tab checked. And also, it didn't have my custom spiffy tab. So it put everything back to the defaults. It cleaned out and cleared out all the groups, all the customizations. So I'm back to where I started. Click OK. No developer tab, no spiffy tab. And I can go ahead and start back over again. One final thing is that if this tab is taking up too much uh, space, I mean, you may have a 50-inch monitor, and if you have a large monitor, this probably doesn't concern you, but you can collapse the ribbon here, either by coming up here and clicking on the uh, Collapse button there. Click on it to collapse it. Click on it to expand it. You can see when I hover over that, it gives you the shortcut, Control f one to collapse it, Control f one to expand it, or you can go ahead and double-click on the tab really fast, and it does the same thing, double-click to collapse, double-click to expand. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.